ready. Hey guys, today we're talking about gun belts. Um, at the end of the video, we're gonna come back and we're gonna have a durability test with this gun belt and Corey on the forklift. So make sure and stay till the end so you can see that. <laughs> yeah, tell me your hook. Hey guys, it's Corey with Gun Problem. We're gonna talk about concealed carry today and uh, why it's important what we're gonna talk about today. Imagine you're out in the street, you got your gun on you, somebody comes up and mugs you, but you can't get to it because it's not where it was supposed to be when you practice on the range or you practice at your house. So consistency is key. Now, one of the things that makes your draw stroke consistent is a gun belt specifically made for a gun. If you don't have that, your holster will move around and it won't be in the same spot. Maybe your handle's too far down. You see those people with the handles that are close to their belt and they don't have enough room to grab they're not gonna be able to grab it when they need it to. So it's very important. Um, I think the most important things with concealed carry are the belt, the holster, and your pants. So today we're gonna to talk about the belt. We've got the new hotness right now, Core Essentials. And then we've got my old faithful right here. I don't even know who made this. I've had this for years. You can tell it's pretty worn. But um, so when considering a belt, what you really, the main thing is, is stiffness. So you can see this is really thin, even compared to this belt. How this belt is stiff and strong is because it's so thick, but this belt is still strong and it's thin, which is nice because you never know what kind of clip sizes you're gonna have. Like these are pretty thick, but like the, everybody likes those uh, discrete carry concept clips. You see them on like uh, tenor core holsters. I have one too, we'll show you a picture of it. But it's very thin, so if I tried to put those thin clips on this belt, they wouldn't fit right. So you need to check out and make sure your belt will fit right with your holster, or you need to change the holster to fit your belt as well. Another thing is that they do is the height of it, I guess you'd say the width, this one. So you got like 1.25 inches, 1.5 inches, 1.75 inches. And usually the thicker it is, or the wider, the stronger it is. Like if you had a bunch of stuff on your belt, you might want a bigger one. This is, I believe is 1.5, but most belt loops are 1.5. So if your belt loops and your pants that you wear every day is a 1.5, then you don't need to get um, 1.75, I guess you'd say. You can make sure that they fit. Um, one of the other cool things with this, actually the Core Essentials belt versus your typical belt is the buckle. So when you sit down, imagine you got a gun in your pants and I like to think I'm in shape, but everybody, I don't care who you are, when you sit down, your gut protrudes a little bit. So if you're carrying appendix, if you're carrying three o'clock, four o'clock, whatever, it's gonna expand and it's not as comfortable. So what you can do here is discreetly press this button right here and you can expand it or you can tighten it. So this, if you try to do that, you'd have to lift your shirt up and that wouldn't be very uh, concealable because you'd have to lift your shirt up and everybody would know you have a gun and whatnot. But, um, so I think these right here are really nice belts. Actually, uh, Tier 1 Concealment has um, done a partnership with them on um, another belt too. They have leather belts, they have duty belts, they have all different kinds of colors so you can be stylish. This one is kind of tactical, but you can have a leather belt that you know you can wear out at a nice restaurant or something, but um, and that will match your shoes. They have different shades and whatnot. And um, another thing with this, um, the way it came actually, I'll show you, is it was pretty big, but we had to cut it down for our size. It didn't take long. It gives you the instructions, and right here, you can see the numbers for your uh, length, and then you. Can, you can put screws down if you want it to stay and screw it down, but it hasn't moved on us. Anyways, guys, um, just a quick tip. We're gonna try to give you some holster tips and some uh, clothing tips as well uh, for different situations, but we just wanted to get the belt out there. I see it all the time. I see people come into the gun shop and they just, they're not concealed carrying right. And it's, you know, it's kind of a danger to them. And they have that sense of, um, security because they have a gun but you can't deploy your gun because your pants or your belt or your holster isn't working right that's not going to do you any good when you get in a fight so 
Anyways, guys, I just wanted to help some people out. I know I didn't know this when I first started concealed carrying, and it's a big deal. So, y'all have a good one. Out. All right, so here we have the uh, core gun belt. Um, we're going to, it's gonna lift me up in the air. I'm gonna keep the buckle engaged. So I'm gonna hold it like that so that we'll see how strong the buckle is. And Corey's gonna lift me up. We're gonna see if it'll hold me up. How high are you gonna lift him? To the sky. <laughs> Alright, so the belt works pretty good. We had to engage the whole thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.